Happy New Year and welcome back to our families, students and to all our community. And a very warm welcome to our new families and students commencing with us this year. I hope that everyone's holiday period was a restful and relaxing one and that you're able to stay safe and healthy and COVID free. We're excited about the year ahead and hope that we can get over the first four weeks safely and smoothly and commence some normality and uh, reinstate many extracurricular opportunities for our students when the restrictions are lifted. We are excited to welcome all students back tomorrow and wish them all the very best for a successful year ahead. I congratulate the graduating class of 2021 on their achievements last year and during their final exams and with, wish them well for the future pathways in university, TAFE, apprenticeships and work. As a college, we are committed to continuing to provide extensive support and guidance to students both individually and collectively to meet their learning and wellbeing needs in 2022. Many of you would have heard the saying, it takes a village to raise a child. Well, I am of the belief that it also takes a community to educate one. Our efforts and focus commencing this year will be on setting high expectations for both students and staff, supporting students uh, at their point of need, and empowering them to be co-authors of their learning and reinstating many extracurricular opportunities both in and outside of the classroom and boundaries of the school when safe to do so. We also want to be able to welcome families, friends and external support services back into the college as soon as safely possible. I'd like to welcome all new staff to the college this year and also, also wish them well as they commence their professional time with us. I feel very excited about what they will bring to our college. Unfortunately, we are commencing another year under safety restrictions from the Chief Health Officer due to the COVID-19. As a college, we are committed to following all recommendations to ensure the safety of all students and staff. All students in years three to 12 are required to wear a mask while inside buildings and while using the canteen. It is recommended that students in prep to year two also wear a mask. I ask families to ensure your child brings their own mask to school each day. Social distancing will be enforced where practically possible both in and outside the classroom. Hand hygiene will continue to be reinforced to students with hand washing and sanitizer. We have had additional air purifiers delivered and they have been placed in many classrooms and areas with poor ventilation. Unfortunately, not all rooms will have an air purifier but airflow with doors and windows being opened is more effective and staff have been directed to do this where possible. The Chief Health Officer has also recommended that all students and staff complete two rapid antigen tests per week. We will be providing all students with a packet of five tests. All students will be provided their tests in their bag or given to them tomorrow to bring home at the end of the day. If students are away, they can collect them from their area reception or in the junior school from their classroom teacher. Students that receive a negative rapid antigen test do not need to inform the college. Students that do test positive following a rapid antigen, antigen test need to isolate for seven days from the day of their positive test and need to inform the college via the college COVID email address, which will be sent out to you later today. Families are required to also inform the Department of Health of any positive rapid antigen test or PCR tests. If you have a family member at home who tests positive, then all students living with them are classified as a household contact and are required to isolate for seven days from the day they tested positive. I want to reinforce at this stage that the college will not complete any rapid antigen tests on any student. That is uh, the responsibility, responsibility of the family and student to complete this recommendation from the Chief Health Officer. Students who display symptoms or signs of COVID will be sent home and asked to complete a rapid antigen test and respond accordingly, depending on the results. I hope that many families have made the decision to be vaccinated, but this decision is a family one, not one that is made by the college. It is the responsibility of the college to inform parents and guardians of, uh, of particular cohorts in which we have received a positive case. Uh, this is to inform you to be vigilant of any potential signs or symptoms uh, in your children over the coming days. 
I will continue to ensure my decisions are based on the safety of all students and staff with any potential outbreak. Also, the safety uh, names of any students will certainly be protected uh, in these emails. I will utilise a diversity of options to ensure that the educational learning program for all students are fulfilled as planned each day. If we are faced with staff shortages like many businesses over the holiday period because of COVID, I will inform parents via SMS and email informing you that your child will not be able to attend school on certain days. I ask that all parents and guardians ensure that their mobile phone numbers are accurate on compass as this decision could be made without notice and out of normal school hours. I certainly hope that this option is not required and will only be a last resort. All parent meetings for the first four weeks will be conducted via phone or WebEx. If meetings are essential and required to be face-to-face -to -face, uh, with parents and guardians, we'll need to be double vaccinated to attend on site unless a medical exemption has been granted. Pickup times in the junior school will continue to be between 3 and 3.15 to help avoid parent gatherings. Junior school parents are not permitted into buildings or classrooms during drop-off until further notice, and all inquiries are to come through either the junior or main administration um, offices. All pickups will be via external classroom doors in the junior school. If you can coordinate an older sibling to pick up uh, their younger brother or sister in the junior school uh, to reduce the volume of parents on site, please consider this and arrange a meeting point off site which is nearby. Parents are to limit their uh, time on site during pick up and drop off times. Please do not hang around the school grounds or play on equipment until further notice. If we can all play our part and prioritise our students and staff health and wellbeing for the next four weeks, we hope that all restrictions can be lifted. I am confident that the quality of the staff at the college will continue to go above and beyond to ensure the needs of your children are met, making 2022 a successful year for all our students. If you have any questions or concerns, please first speak with your child's classroom or home group teacher. If you feel that your concerns require an area leader or potentially a wellbeing member, please call or email them directly. I will continue to update you on any changes made that will impact your children. I am excited and look forward to a successful year ahead. Thank you.